In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I always try to smile uh, when I look at the camera first thing because I hope it's a happy day for you as we celebrate a whole new year. 2023, is it? Yeah. And we get a year older, but uh, today the church in the liturgy we have honors Mary. It's called the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. So in that uh, state of which we honor her, we also honor each and every one of you who prays with us. We are a family of prayer and we will continue to be that. And especially if you have a personal intentions, uh, we are a large group who meet every Sunday or many other times during the day or night because of fatherharry.org, which you can get if you get this mass on the internet any other time. So bless you all and thank you for praying with us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May God bless us in his mercy. May, May God bless us, us in, in his, his mercy. mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, 
born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that, proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the past God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then as the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. And when eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I guess I should be the first to wish you a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> I hope we all live another year to see another year. Uh, today, the church honors Mary, the mother of God. And uh, I, I know they argued for years over this in, in the uh, first council of the church, and the Greeks just couldn't take it, so they left. Uh, and the Orthodox still honor the Theotokos, uh, Mary, the mother of God, which in most uh, Greek chapels and churches, you will find instead of a crucifix uh, at the top of the church in the main altar, you will find Mary holding the child Jesus with the, the fingers up as a sign of blessing. And the Greek word Theotokos means mother of God. So it's quite, a, it's quite a stretch for the imagination when you think about God being one God, three person, one God, one, one supreme being. How can there be two supreme beings? How can there be, blah, blah, blah. How can there be um, male or female or whatever? And, and here we have this great controversy in the church. And it comes basically from the writers of the scriptures who... Um, write these things down about Mary and the, and the prophets of virgin birth and all that. So in our human way of trying to explain and understand things, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Mary, the mother of God. So I like the part about uh, in the scripture, it says she held all these things in her heart. And the heart really is the center of humanity. And if your heart is uh, filled with love and passion and feeling, uh, 
you'll know where you are and you'll, you'll appreciate all the different things that come into your being, all the different people. You know, I, I, uh, I don't have uh, my book here, but I had on the front cover of the book that little baby who uh, the truth is, I thought it was a little girl at one time. And I wrote to the parents saying, may I use this picture on the cover of my book? And they said, well, it's not our baby. <laughs> so I had, I had to do a little research and find out it was a, it was a little boy named Benjamin and he and his parents live uh, in Seattle and his mother is a, a doctor there. Um, but it's the, it's that whole thing of uh, trying to know as much as you can and then realizing that you'll never know it all, no matter what, what your exposition to knowledge and learning and experience and passion, there's always going to be something left out. So at the wedding feast at Cana, Mary's heart was moved. So she said to the servants, do what he tells you because she didn't want to have the marriage people embarrassed by running out of wine. And then her heart gets broken again when he's 12 years old, that is Jesus, and he runs away to the temple and leaves the caravan without saying, hey, here's a note, I'm going to the temple to preach. And then, um, of course, that very sad uh, scene at the foot of the cross where uh, he says, Ma mother, behold your son, and son, behold your mother. But in all these expressions, we begin this whole new year uh, with the feast of Mary, the mother of God, the Theotokos. So uh, I, I pulled this out. I think I've shared it with you before, but I, I won't read it all. It's about a little kid who's writing about uh, Mary. There was once a lady named Mary who lived the same time as Jesus. <laughs> this was good because she was his mother. One day she was sitting around the house when all of a sudden an angel came to see her. He said she was full of grapes. <laughs> and she said, hi, want to sit down? No, he said. He came in to tell her that she was going to have a baby. And not only that, but he was going to be a boy and his name was going to be Jesus. And Mary was very surprised because she didn't even know how she was expecting. Okay, she said, and then the angel went away. Oh yeah, before he left, the angel told Mary that her cousin was going to have a baby boy too, but his name wasn't going to be Jesus. Then he left. Mary got right up and went to see her cousin, but first she asked her mother if she could go out. So Mary and Joseph and a donkey, uh, she was married now, had to go to Bethlehem so that Jesus could get born there. Like it says in the song, they looked all over for a room, but Joseph had forgotten to make reservations. <laughs> so they had to go to a stable, which was all right for the donkey, who was tired, but <laughs> Mary was tired too. And when they got inside, they found a nice manger all full of straw, which in a everybody knows is where they put babies in those days. <laughs> Mary sat down and had the baby. As soon as she uh, had put him in the manger, the place was full of shepherds. Mary thought maybe they couldn't find a room either. <laughs> but they said, uh, They'd come because some angel had come out in the sky and told them to go there. And then three men, wise men came in also because they're, that's where the star stopped. Pretty soon, they all had to go back to Nazareth and live. Jesus was a good little boy who never did anything bad. Except break the heart of his mother when he didn't leave a note that he was going to to the temple to pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to worship today and uh, answer our prayers if they be according to your will.
for the church, imitating Mary's purity, faith, and humility, that it grow in holiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our our prayer. For our nation and world, that this new year, 2023, be filled with peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those in distress of any kind, that God bless and keep them and make his face to shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For families struggling to make ends meet, that they receive the grace they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, thank you and thank you for the many benefactors who make it possible for us to bring this Mass to your home, to your cell, to wherever you might be. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in your divinity, who humbled yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us from our sins and cleanse us from all iniquity. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in the solemnity of the motherhood of Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without hosting, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we say together, Holy, Holy, Holy Holy Lord, God God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the Bishop of your diocese, and the many others who serve you. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, so that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ, Sheila. Amen. The body of Christ, Kathy. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended, go in peace to live the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful 2023. Happy New Year. Hi, Father Harry. It's always good uh, to see you at Sunday. We try, my wife and I, to alternate every Sunday. We go to Mass at our parish, and the next two Sundays we watch your Mass on TV. <laughs> Thank you for the prayer you gave to our dog, Harley. He's been spared from going to heaven at this time. I blessed Harley. Enjoy your Mass while I am recovering from uh, knee replacement. Oh, how all our priests could be happy like you. Well, who says? Thank you for continuing to uh, make the TV Mass with all its ups and downs of COVID. We really enjoy uh, your homilies and all the people who work with you. Thank you so much. See you next Sunday. <laughs>